Davis just trying to figure out how to do some recording. Uh, so let me see if I can get into your lab and we can get some justification behind this. I know you had questions, so hopefully this will help. Uh, should re be repeated in text, uh, but I'll try to go through this. Um, first of all, you did some testing on mass and the impact on period. Uh, down here, uh, down below, let's see if I can get this. Down below, uh, you've got time per two cycles. Um, I want you to think about doing time per one cycle. The reason we do time per two cycles is so that we can get a, a, a accurate time uh, for the period uh, for that, okay? Um, and so when I look down uh, on your lab, I see that you've plotted it, and I've got this little note about zero, zero, okay? Um, first of all, always show the zero, zero when you plot data, okay? Always show it, um, because it's giving us weird information. Now, if I were to extend that line, if I were to extend that line, I would think that the period probably be close to if I had zero mass right if I had zero mass I might have about one second period now does that make sense you got to think about your zero zero the answer is no if I had a slight mass on there that thing would bounce so freaking fast uh, it, it's crazy okay so what I need you to think about is it linear right you have to look at that intercept and it can't be 1.0. So you have to think about what's going on right at that zero, zero. And I'll give you a little hint about the shape, right? The shape of an object with this little green line, okay? Uh, it looks like a square root relationship, okay? Uh, and then I uh, basically gave an equation, but did you really think one? And you've got that conclusion. Uh, I need you to read that equation and what that, uh, uh, intercept means okay i uh, so the other two things missing you've done one third of the lab you've got a spring testing spring constant you've got like six different spring constants you can test and then mass dis or the displacement of the mass you've got three you can test but it should give you enough data to find the conclusion okay so you basically have uh, about 